Hello and welcome to your 15 minute full body advanced yoga flow. If you want to expand and deepen your practice, work on your splits and inversions while stretching and strengthening your entire body, then this flow is going to be perfect for you. As always, I will offer variations for certain yoga poses, so don't worry, it really doesn't matter where you are in your practice. Just listen to your body and only go as far into a yoga pose while maintaining that deep and steady breath. For today's class, you might want to grab two yoga blocks or books and a meditation cushion or any other pillow that you have, and then we can get started. We will begin today seated on our mats, come into an easy cross-legged position or find your full lotus pose if it's within your practice. Bring your hands onto your knees with your palms facing up. Or take it Gyan Mudra, bring the index finger and the thumb together. Keep your spine straight, relax your shoulders and close your eyes if you haven't done so already. Take a moment here to tune in with yourself, with your breath. Bring all of your awareness to your in and exhalations. You can also set an intention for this practice if you want to. And then take three more deep breaths. And slowly bring the palms together in front of your heart and start to rub the palms in each other creating warmth and heat and then place your hands above your eyes slowly blink your eyes open bring your hands down to your heart namaste take a deep inhale bring the right hand down next to your body and reach your left arm up and over towards the right side and exhale it all out. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, switch sides. Left palm comes down to the ground. And then come back to center. We are now making our way to the top of our mats. Come into a standing position into your mountain pose, Tadasana. Spreading your weight evenly across both feet. Relax your shoulders. And just bring your awareness to your breath. Palms together in front of your heart. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, slowly fold down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lengthen, inhale. And exhale, step back into your high plank and lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale, downward facing dog on your exhale. Relax your face muscles, press the heels down to the ground, keep your spine straight. With your next inhale, look forward, step or hop to the top, halfway lengthen, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, hands to your heart. Beautiful, and let's continue. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank and lower down. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Take a moment here to connect with your breath. And on your next inhale, Look forward, step or hop to the top, halfway lengthen, and exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up all the way towards standing, exhale, hands to your heart. 
And let's repeat it one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank. And take a full Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, open your chest. Downward facing dog, allow your chest to melt down to the ground. Keep your spine straight. And then bring your hands together and your feet together as well. And from here, lift the right hand off the mat. Hold onto the outside of your left ankle. Twist to the left side. Keep a slight micro bend in your left elbow to protect your joint. And one more breath. And then bring the right hand down back onto the mat. And reach the left hand to the outside of your right ankle, twisting to the right. Taking long and deep in and exhales, twisting from the belly button here. And slowly release, come back into your downward facing dog. From here you can start to bend one knee at a time, stretching opposite hamstrings, releasing any tension in the back of your legs. Feel free to close your eyes here and just tune into your body, see what feels good to you. And then find some stillness in your downward facing dog, shift your weight forward, high plank and then lower down Chaturanga. And come into your upward facing dog. We're gonna spend a little more time here. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, look over your left shoulder to your left foot. Inhale back to center. Exhale, look over the right shoulder to the right foot and back to center. And then send your hips back onto your heels. Take a child's pose. Resting your forehead on the mat, relax your entire body and breathe deeply. Then slowly come on up, sitting on your heels. And then hold onto your left heel with your left hand. Extend the right arm to the side, make a big circle forwards and with your next inhale lift your upper body up push your hips forward open your chest come into your half camel pose exhale lower down bring the hands forward and then the right hand to the right heel as you lift and push your hips up and forward opening your heart to your half camel on the other side And let's repeat it on the other side. Find your own rhythm. Exhale, switch. Inhale, send your hips forward, open your chest. And from here, take a full camel pose, open your chest even further. If your neck allows it, you can lean your head back. And breathe deeply, very good. And then bring the hands into the lower back or to your heart. And slowly bring your hips down to your heels. Very good job. Bring the hands forward, tuck the toes under. And come into your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Inhale, look forward, step or hop to the top, halfway lengthen. And exhale, slowly fold down into your Uttanasana, hold onto your toes, 
pull your upper body closer to your legs and think about the connection between your torso and your thighs. Feel free to add a little movement here, bend one knee at a time, feeling a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Beautiful. One more time, each side. And find some stillness in your forward fold. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper now. And then hold onto your elbows, bend your knees a little bit and rock from right to left. Just release any tension in your head, in your neck, in your upper back. And then release the hands, slowly round up all the way towards standing. Keep your knees bent and the head is the last to come up. Bring your feet together, a little bit of space in between your heels. Inhale, reach your arms up, come into your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees and lower your hips down. With control, keep your balance. And then give yourself a little hug show yourself some self-love in between and then come all the way down to the ground and let's get ready for our hero pose or virasana i have a few variations for this one the first one is to bring a meditation cushion or pillow down in between your feet and lower your hips down keep your spine straight you should feel this in your thighs. A wonderful stretch for your quads. If this is too easy for you, feel free to remove the pillow. Sit all the way down to the ground. But be aware of your knees. You should never feel any pain. Feel free to stay in this position or if it's within your practice, Slowly come on down onto your forearm. Or maybe you can lower your back all the way down to the ground. Reach your arms up, hold onto your elbow. And just take a few moments here to completely surrender, to let go. Focus on your breath. And stay in the present moment. Stay one more breath in your hero pose, wherever you are. If you are down onto your back, slowly come on up, first on your forearms. And then all the way up onto your hands. And slowly exit the pose. Extend your legs. And step your feet back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, come into a high plank. Exhale, lower down. Upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog on your exhale. Your next inhale, Reach your right leg all the way up towards the sky. Keep your hips square at first. And then stack your hips, bend your knees. And start to draw big circles with your right knee. Keep your shoulders square and in one line. And then switch direction, circling into the other direction. Extend the right leg up, look forward and step your right foot in between your hands, 
find your center here and then extend the arms back keep leaning over your right thigh engage your right glute muscle very good hold and then reach both of your arms up come into a high lunge relax your shoulders relax your face muscle and then open your hips to the side come into your warrior two vira padrasana two relax your shoulders look to your right hand and breathe inhale reach forward in the right hand down to the ground and extend the left arm up and over coming to your extended side angle and then come all the way back into your reverse warrior beautiful And then bend the right knee, slowly lower yourself down into your side lunge, Skandasana. You can keep your hands together. Or you can also bring them down to the ground for more balance if you want to. This is a great way to open up your inner thighs releasing any tension in this area and then hold onto your right ankle with your left hand and reach and extend your right arm up and over maybe even grabbing your left toes as you twist all the way towards the ceiling breathing deeply in your seated twist and don't worry if you can't reach your toes just keep your right arm extended and then slowly come back and right into your bind bring your right arm around your right leg hold onto your left hand open your chest towards the sky beautiful take one more breath and as you exhale release extend your left leg bend the right knee and rotate the right knee internally just as we did in hero pose if this is too much for you you can also sit onto your heel if not rotate your knee inwards sit up nice and tall reach your arms up and lean forward bend over your left knee keep your left toes flexed and just breathe deeply here you can hold on to your left wrist with your right hand and just go deeper with every new exhale then just take one more deep breath and then gently release and from here we are transitioning into our pyramid pose extend both of your legs keep your hips in one straight line and bend over your left knee From here you can also come onto your fingertips, flex your left toes for an even more intense stretch. Very good. Now take one more breath here as well. And then bring your weight into your left foot, reach your right leg all the way up. And from here, you can take your half moon pose, or if it's within your practice, hold onto your right foot with your right hand and find your sugarcane pose. 
focus on one point, breathe deeply, open your hips, beautiful. And let's take three more deep breaths. And then slowly release, step your right foot back. Come into your runner's lunge and then step the left foot back, high plank, inhale and exhale, lower down, chaturanga, upward facing dog and downward facing dog, well done. From here, extend and reach the left leg all the way up towards the sky and then bend the left knee and draw big circles with your left knee just slowly opening up the hip on this side as well and then switch direction of the circle beautiful extend the leg up and then look forward step your foot in between your hands Find your center, lift the hands off the mat, extend them back, lean over your left thigh, hold for one more breath, and then extend your arms all the way up, high lunge. Very good. Take a deep inhale here, and as you exhale, Open your hips to the right side, extend your arms. Warrior two on the other side, look to your left hand. Relax your shoulders and face muscles. Inhale deeply here. And exhale, lean forward. Bring the left fingertips down to the mat and extend the right arm up and over. Inhale, exhale, reverse warrior. Open your chest, breathing deeply. And then come back into your warrior two. And bend the left knee even further, squatting down. Come into your side lunge or skandasana on the other side palms together in front of your heart or for more balance bring them down to the ground and then grab your left ankle with your right hand and reach the other arm up and over maybe grabbing your right toe taking long and deep in and exhale through your nose and then slowly release and take a full bind opening your chest look up towards the sky And then slowly release. Come into your seated forward fold variation. Extend the right leg. Bend the left knee. Rotate the knee inwards. And bend over your right leg. Feeling a nice stretch in your right hamstring. And if you feel some pain in your left knee, please come out of the pose, take a break and then join me later on again. Take one more breath in your forward fold. And slowly release. And make your way into your pyramid posture on the other side. Extend your legs, lift your hips and lean over your right leg. Keep your hips in one straight line and to intensify the stretch, 
you can also flex your right toes Feel free to use your yoga blocks to modify this pose. Otherwise, you can come onto your fingertips or down onto your hands. Very good. And then bring your weight into your right foot. Lift the left leg all the way up. Come into your half moon pose or take your sugar cane pose on the other side. Focus on one point, find your center and keep your awareness on your breath. One more deep breath here and then release, step the left foot back and step the right foot back as well, high plank, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog on your exhale, very good. On your next inhale, extend and lift the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step to the outside of your left hand to find your lizard pose. From here, you can use your blocks as well to lift your upper body up a little bit if you want to, otherwise stay down on your hands, rocking a little bit forwards and back, opening up your hips and legs here. And then drop the right knee down to the ground. Staying here for one more deep breath. And then slowly come onto the outside of your left foot. Allow your left knee to fall to the side, intensifying the stretch in your left glute muscle. You can also press your left inner thigh away from you to intensify the stretch. Another variation is to lift the back foot and hold it with your left hand as you open your chest and look all the way up towards the sky. Beautiful. Breathing deeply in your lizard pose variation. Then gently release. Bring your left foot to the center of your mat come into your low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, allow your hips to sink down towards the mat. You can bring the hands onto your thighs or down to the ground, whatever feels best for you right now. This is a wonderful way to open up your right hip flexor and prepare ourselves for our full split. Bring the hands down to the ground, take a deep inhale here, exhale, lean your hips back, extend the left leg, half split pose, your left hip is pulling back, your right hip forward, and then slowly come back into your low lunge, inhale here, and exhale, moving back, half split pose, hips in one line, forward, low lunge, and back, half split. Feeling a nice stretch here in your hamstring and in your hip flexor. Coming back into your low lunge, grab your yoga blocks and your cushion or pillow and place it underneath your left hip. And then slowly move back into your half split forward into your low lunge. And now your left foot is moving forward, your right foot is moving back. 
and just find a position that works best for you. If you need to use more pillows, that's fine. And keep your upper body upright. Your hips should be in one straight line. And breathe deeply wherever you are. If it's within your practice, feel free to remove the pillow and lower your hips even further down to the ground. Come into your monkey pose or Hanumanasana. Keep in mind this is a very advanced yoga pose, so don't worry if you can't get all the way down. Just find a position that works best for you and breathe deeply. Think about rotating your left hip back and your right hip forward. Very good. If you want, you can bend over your left leg as well. Feel free to play around in your full splits if you want to. Getting your full splits will take time and it's not going to happen overnight. But with some patience and practice, you can get it as well, I'm sure. To come out of the pose, bring your feet closer together, come into your low lunge. And then step back into your high plank, lower down Chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. From here, reach your right leg all the way up. Inhale deeply. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Come into your lizard pose on the other side. Feel free to use some blocks to elevate your hands. It makes it a little bit easier. Find some stillness in your lizard pose or rock forwards and back to release any tension in your hip and leg area. And then drop the left knee down to the ground. Stay here for one more breath. And then come onto the outside of your right foot. Allow your right knee to fall to the right side. To intensify the stretch, press the inner thigh away from you. Try to not press against the knee joint, but against the inner thigh. And the last variation is to lift the left foot and grab the foot with your right hand as you open your chest towards the sky. Now take one more deep breath and gently release, bring the right hand down Walk your right foot to the center of your mat and come into your low lunge, lift your arms up. And with your next exhale, allow your hips to sink further down to the ground. Hands can come onto your thigh or down to the ground. Beautiful job. If your hands are on your thighs, slowly bring them down to the ground. Inhale as you lift your chest here and exhale, extend the right leg. Come into your half split, stretching your right hamstring. Inhale into a low lunge, feeling the stretch in your left hip flexor. And exhale, half split. Just moving back and forth a little bit, warming up our hips. 
for the full splits on the other side. And then just take a few extra breaths in your half split pose. Bring the right hip back and the left hip forward. Flex your right toes. And then move forward into your low lunge and grab all the props that you need to make your way into your splits on the other side. I like to bring a meditation cushion underneath my right hip and I'm slowly walking my right foot forward and my left foot back, lowering the hips down to the ground. You can bring your hands on blocks. One side usually feels a little bit tighter than the other. For me, it's definitely the right side. But don't worry, this is absolutely normal. You are exactly where you need to be. Always remember that. And then just find a position that works for you. Maybe you want to remove the pillow to go even deeper. And then breathe into this pose. Allow your body to surrender, to go deeper. The more you practice such hip openness, the easier it will get for your body to surrender and to let go. Maybe you want to lean forward over your right leg, playing around in this pose, but make sure that your right hip is pulling back and your left hip forward. And then slowly come on up when you're ready Bring your feet closer towards each other. Come into your low lunge, tuck the toes under, lift the knee and step back, high plank, lower down Chaturanga, upward facing dog on your inhale. And then slowly bring your hips back into your wild legged child's pose. Knees come as wide as the mat your feet are touching. Rest your forehead on the mat and relax your entire body, keeping your awareness on your breath. You now have the option to stay in your child's pose or if you want, you can take a headstand at this point before we make our way onto the mat to end this practice. Interlace the fingers, bring the crown of your head down to the ground, elbows are underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips and walk your feet closer. And either bend your knees or take a pike press and come all the way up into your headstand or shilshasana. One straight line with your body, focus on one point, breathing deeply, very good. And then take one more deep breath and exit this pose with control. Bring the feet down to the ground and walk your hands forward. Take another child's pose. Just notice how you feel right now and be the observer of your breath. And then slowly come on up, slightly bend your knees in front of you, come into an upright position and inhale, open your chest, look up, exhale, rounding through the spine, bring your chin to your chest, 
and repeat. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, open. And on your next exhale, round your spine. Come all the way down to your mat. Then hug your knees into your chest, massaging your spine by moving forwards and back or right and left, opening your knees, drawing some circles, just doing any sort of movement that feels good to you right now. And then hold onto your big toes, find your happy baby pose. Breathe deeply while you release any tension in your hips. From here you can also start to extend your legs, come into a reclined straddle pose, feeling a nice stretch through your inner thighs. Beautiful. And then take one more deep breath here. On your next exhale, bring your feet and knees together and make yourself very small. Give yourself a well deserved hug before you make our way into Shavasana. Extend your legs, arms. And then let's make a little body scan. Bring all of your awareness to your feet. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your shins and calf muscles. Relax your knees. Your thighs and back of your thighs. Relax your hips, your abdomen. Relax your chest. Relax your lower back, middle back and upper back. Relax your hands, your wrists. Relax your forearms, elbows, upper arms and shoulders. Relax your neck, your head and your face muscles starting with your chin and jaw. Relax your mouth and cheek. Relax your nose and allow your eyes and eyelids to become really heavy. And lastly, relax your eyebrows and forehead. Your entire body is completely relaxed now. Just keep your awareness on your breath. And allow yourself to sink deeper into the mat with every new exhale until you hear my voice again.
Slowly bring your awareness back into your body by moving your toes and fingertips. Maybe you want to reach your arms all the way up, give your body a gentle stretch. And in your own time, roll onto one side, stay there for one or two more breaths. Come all the way up into an upright seated position just as we started. You can come into an easy cross-legged position or if it's within your practice take your full lotus pose or padmasana. Rooting down through your sit bones and inhale reach both of your arms up. Exhale palms together in front of your heart. Bow down to yourself and really thank yourself for taking the time for showing up. And I would love to thank you for practicing with me. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. If you enjoyed this flow, please leave me a like and a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I post weekly yoga flows and Pilates workouts. See you again soon. Namaste.